it's Britney, bitch. Hey guys, um, happy Tuesday, I guess. I'm posting my video on Tuesday this week. Anyway, um, I hope everyone had a really good week. I did. Um, I finished designing my show. My show's open, so I have a lot more extra time. Although I'm um, about to start training as a server at my restaurant. I work at a restaurant. Um, I'm going to start training as a server there tonight, so that's going to take up quite a bit of time. So that's pretty much what I've been up to this week. I just kind of enjoyed my weekend, which was nice. Um, I actually spent some time in the sun and got a little bit sunburnt. I don't know, I, you can't really tell with the colors here, but yeah, there, there's my lovely sunburn line. It hurts. I'm sunburned all over my body and it is so painful. Oh my gosh, yesterday I couldn't even walk. I was at work and I was like walking like a robot. It was just horrible. And um, I was stupid because I didn't wear sunscreen. And I normally always do, so that was really stupid of me. So anyway, um, I'm making this video kind of quick. So like I said, I'm going to work tonight, training as a server. Woohoo! Um, Justin on last Monday, he asked when our birthday was. My birthday is August 2nd of 1982. Uh, my birthday is 8282, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm a Leo. Um, you also asked us to draw you. I am working on it. Um, I'm an artist, but I can't promise that it's going to be the best portrait you've ever seen due to a lack of time. So I'll do what I can. Okay, so Justin, I promised I would draw a picture of you. And um, like I said, it was totally rushed, so it's not very good. But I've done it, and I wanted to draw a picture that showed off your new haircut, so there you go. Um, it's not very good, I just did it in a few minutes here, but um, that was all the time I had, so there you go. That's your portrait. Rebecca asked what you would do to get over your ex if it was someone you truly loved. I just broke up with my most serious boyfriend ever of my whole life. Um, it's been about a year and a half now, but um, it was a really tough breakup for me. Um, we had been long distance for quite a long time and we were together for almost three years. So it was a really tough breakup. Let me actually show you um, what I did. Hold on one second. Okay, and now I feel like an idiot because I thought I had the book here with me, but um, I guess it must have gotten lost somewhere in the process of moving. So anyway, I bought a book the day we broke up, and um, I was living in New York City at the time, and um, we had just broken up, and I went into a Barnes & Noble because I needed to use the restroom or something, and I was sobbing, just like crying miserably, and then I remembered someone had recommended this book to to me or to a friend of mine, or somehow I had heard the name of this book. So I bought this book, and it's called... Um, it's it's called a breakup because it's broken that's the title of the book and um, I went over to the aisle and um, I picked up this book and I went into the cashier bawling sobbing um, just a mess and bought this book it's called a breakup because it's broken it's by um, Greg Berent I think and um, the book actually gave me a lot of clarity on the situation I don't usually read self-help books but um, this one I totally recommend. It was, um, the first time I read it, I kind of thought it was bull. And, um, you know, one of the first things that he recommends in the book is not talking to your ex for a period of 60 days, which, um, when I first read it, I was like, that's crap. You know, me and my ex, we're going to be friends. We're really close. We've always been best friends. I need him. Like I need to rely on him through this. And, um, I thought that that just wasn't for me. So I started out not following that part of it. I, I talked to him, I called him, and you know, we hung out, we went to lunch, whatever. And I finally realized that I was just torturing myself by doing that, and it really wasn't fair to me. Um, so I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And, uh, and it was pretty difficult. After those 60 days passed, I really started to see the situation differently, and I felt lucky that we had actually broken up instead of continuing things. And um, after we broke up, 
that was part of the reason I moved back to Denver. And so that's another thing for me to be lucky for. I really love my life in Denver, so um, I'm, I'm kind of glad it all worked out for the best, and that book sort of helped me see that. So I know that was a really long answer, but there you go. Um, Nick asked if we were going to a desert island, what song we would bring, what item of food, and what celebrity date. Gosh, that's a hard question. Um, food, well, that's easy. I could eat sushi every day for the rest of my life, basically. I work at a sushi restaurant, and I just love sushi, and could eat it every day, for sure. So, um, since I'm assuming that the desert island would already have fish, probably, um, I think my item would be wasabi, because I like spicy things. So if I brought a whole big jar of wasabi and I could get the fish on the island, then I could just have like sashimi with wasabi on it all the time and I would be such a happy camper. Song. Man, I listen to a lot of oldies, like rock and roll, 50s, 60s, early 70s. Um, and I also listen to a lot of musicals because I work in theater and I love musicals. And um, right now, my favorite musical is Spring Awakening. If you guys haven't heard of it, I highly suggest you check out the soundtrack. It is so phenomenal. It's a rock musical. Um, it's very progressive, very new age. Um, you know, it takes place actually in the 19th century, but the topics that it deals with are very prominent today. It talks about um, child abuse, homosexuality, the stresses under teenagers to do well in school, um, teenage suicide. It just has a lot of really applicable subjects and it's so beautifully written. So um, I know it's kind of cheating, but I would bring the whole CD to Spring Awakening. Celebrity date. I don't really ever have a crush on celebrities, really. Oh, there is one celebrity. Um, I've always had kind of a crush on Jonathan Rhys Myers. He's super hot. I would totally pick him just because he's so pretty to look at. Yeah. And then Monday, yesterday, Justin asked how long you think is the right amount of time um, before you give someone a promise ring or before you get a promise ring in a relationship. I honestly, I don't believe in promise rings. I don't think that a promise ring is any different than an engagement ring. An engagement ring means you promise to marry that person at a later date. And a promise ring means you promise to be engaged to be married to that person at a later date. So I just don't, I don't really believe in promise rings. I actually don't think I would ever want a guy to buy me a ring unless he was actually proposing. Um, I think that rings are very symbolic and um, I just I just don't see the point of a promise ring. So my answer would, for, to that question would be um, to get a promise ring, never. Because if a guy gave me a promise ring, I think I'd probably freak out on him. Um, engagement ring? It's hard to say. I think that time doesn't really tell a relationship. You know, um, my ex and I, we were in love within a month and um, we just knew, you know, um, and obviously it didn't work out for the long term, but it's not because we didn't love each other. But I would say if you knew it was right, there's no reason that, that you should wait a certain amount of time before proposing. Um, I was going to ask you all to tell us three facts about yourself that we don't know. I guess the first thing would be that I'm left-handed. I guess that's kind of cool. The next fact is that um, even though I live in Colorado, I am not a skier. Everyone thinks it's the craziest thing. They think I must be like some expert skier, like I've been going all my life. Um, I haven't been skiing since I was like 15. Oh yeah, my third fact is that I rarely wear any makeup. Um, I'm not wearing any right now, I just got out of the shower. Um, sometimes I wear mascara to make my eyelashes look longer, but I don't, I don't really wear any makeup on my face. I don't wear eyeshadow, I don't wear lipstick. Just sometimes mascara and chapstick. So yeah, tell me three facts about yourself and I'll see you next week.